I don't have to ever go into the prison depths again unless I want to, and I don't know why I would ever want to. <laughs> one of the worst places on the island, or one of the safest, depending on who you ask. That's an interestingly interesting way to put it. We're gonna go survival solely for the health. So the right button is phaser. Teleports you behind the enemy, and the next attack does extra damage. So if I do So take this guy. He's dead now. <laughs> it's a skill that I should be using a lot more often than I am. Although I am already using it quite a bit. Exactly. <laughs> we indeed. <laughs> this is tempting, but I'm not going for brutality, so it would be a bit of a waste of the skills I have right now. I'm half hoping I get a nice legendary sword of some sort. Indeed, I have. Alright. Legendary vampirism. Still vampirism. Not really all that great. Get gold as well as a cell. I'd rather no longer be doing the flammable oil, so I think I will grab this. Plus it's more gold, which, yay, more gold. Valmont's whip, no.
I did not see that, actually. That must... Ugh. Maybe I should have just used it once and then swapped back. That's the hope. That said, Prison Depths is kinda... Yeah. It's a difficult route that doesn't really have a lot of good rewards to it. So unless they realign it with another part of the... Uh, another part of the island, there's not really any reason for me to ever go there. happy with what I have. I'm not using the bear trap as much as I should be, though. Yeah, don't use phasers, don't use a phaser on, uh, thornies. That is a one-way trip to, uh, Pain Village. I'm actually not even sure what route I want to take after this, because I'm not going to probably make the time door for the Stilt Village. So I might try to go get two blueprints in one run. Golems drop stuff, drop their blueprints frequently enough that I could risk it. Missed a blueprint, or not a blueprint, a scroll down here. Ah, one of these.
extra jump in the midair. I will take it. anything really there's a thing over there but yeah no I think I'll just go exit and be done black bridge at last a little rest uh, do I want to reforge this Want to reforge anything here, do I? I'll get this one roll. That's already better because it ups the damage simply by it being tactics instead of brutality. Means health is a little lower, but yeah, who needs health? Spare, right? And complete one. Concierge. Legendary Biter Swarm. This plus damage on everything, so nope. 100% <laughs> nope. By how much? Five minutes. Okay. So I am going to not go Stealth Village. I'm going to go... Slumbering Sanctuary. Let's see if we can kill a golem! And see if my 10% luck is lucky enough. or maybe or death orb death orb would be nice yeah we might go death orb <laughs> phaser's fun but this is much better Double Death Orb, I am going to be set.
Uh, I don't want to push the button just yet. I still have things to go see. Place to do. Some of these areas look quite terrifying, if I do say so. Do one in brutality for the health. Is that everything? Eh, there's something down here. An elite. Don't mind a poop. Jumping on an enemy stuns it. Formerly known as Super Mario Mode. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna take it. Yeah, it's not called Super Mario Mode anymore, but, you know, jump on an enemy and stun them. More trouble than it's worth, I think. <laughs> Alright. I want from there? Not really. Uh, let's head this way first. risky? Heck yes. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it. health on double self difficulty runs if you are going for a survival build you could go for the gastronomy mutation which does which doubles the amount of health you get from a food item so if you're doing like me and you are on the baguette diet which I guess I could change then a baguette will give you 100% of your health back so food shops become really valuable in that case. I don't think it's... it might not be double, it might be uh, scaling. 
with uh, the survival stat. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm probably gonna go Clock Tower here. I mean, with the two cell difficulty, you're gonna probably find a lot more cursed chests. I think the two cell doors. A lot of the two cell doors have curses in them, if I recall correctly. It's been a while since I've looked at that list. Shop. What I really want. Frantic Sword's doing me okay. for that later. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to deal with two golems right next to all the golems. That's everything. We're going clock tower. Here we go! Because we are not gonna... We would not have made the time door for... Yeah, we're late on the time door for... Sank... Sumbling Sanctuary. Alright, so we're still short on a blueprint, so we will have to go through there again. Which is terrifying. And it will actually have to be an elite... Yeah, it's going to have to be an elite golem. Who oh, knows? Do I want to reforge this? It's still the starting sword. I'm going to see if I can get a better one. Save my gold. Oh, uh, wait a minute. When is now? more that I didn't want to go Sepulchre. <laughs> I go there too often. I want to change in pace. Do, do, 
An alternate to this bear trap would be kind of nice to have. <laughs> once, reroll twice, that is a no, okay, probably should have gone for a, a bow. I could hope for a Legendary from an Elite. I think the Elite is a guarantee here. Even taken a hit yet. Tempting fate there by saying that, but. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a decent uh, replacement melee weapon here. No, it's a turret. Sure. I'll take it. First time I had taken damage this whole place. Still more I should than I should have, but you know. Smash. No. Did it? 
another elite. And it's dead. Cudgel! Attacking just after a parry inflicts 300% damage. Victims freeze. An elite infantry grenade. Or a legendary infantry grenade. Nah. If I was going brutality, that would have been nice, but... Replaced soonish. Yeah, I mean it's a it's decent, I guess. But yeah, if I can find something better, I'll grab it in a heartbeat. I think both the stores are already set up as weapon shops, so I just need to. I think this one was the one that I had the least rerolls done to it, so I'm gonna reroll once. Brilliant. Cannot sell that item. I'm gonna reroll this when we get to the exit, and uh, should be a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent and pretty damage heavy. Uh, Tactics build here. A very risky, <laughs> very, very risky build. But a build. How much different, how much more different is it doing? Oh yeah, just a bit. Spending all my gold to upgrade it. Oh, that's a perfect one. Yes. <laughs> all right, we're set. Seriously, 75% damage on a slowed down target with the ice bow combined, and a death orb that does damage on a frozen target? Oh, we're set. And before I completely screw something up, guarantee it's gonna happen. <laughs> of all things. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yes. So, uh, twin daggers. No thanks. I'm happy with what I've got. How the fudge did I pull that off? <laughs> you can't see. Grinning ear to ear right now with that. <laughs> stinking health refill. Ah! Um, do I want to reroll mutations at all? Yeah, you know what? We got YOLO. We still got the YOLO. Let's roll with it. Uh, 
Alright. Probably only gonna do two keys. Probably. Uh, bear trap. That's a no. Uh, I guess it's called wolf trap now, but yeah, uh, whatever. Up uh, again. Uh, Thorny could be interesting. Spikes are still the most dangerous thing here. Found the entrance. Whoops. So no, I'm a heavy crossbow. Ice bow's doing me good. Tactics shouldn't hurt. Okay, well, we're out of flash charges now, because I'm an idiot. So I'm going to backtrack the way I just came from. Uh, 
I'm playing way too risky. <laughs> it's that overconfidence. Settling in pretty hard right now. I mean, upgraded ice bow if you have it. Which you don't. So. Thank you, but no thank you. I mean, we just need to find the exit and we're done. down to only two blueprints, which is nice. Ah, uh, no. Uh, where am I going? Let's head back down here. I think this goes through. No, it's not going to, because this is the... That's a secret area. Where am I going? Okay, remember, I have a baguette. So I still have technically half a full, a half a heal. Indeed. Where are we going? Up, I guess. Admittedly, a bit of a weird generation for the castle, I think. All right. I don't think we're doing three keys. Just a hunch. I think we're going to look for the exit and leave. You're not the exit. Do I want a... Nah. Oh yeah, the baguette. Where's that back at? Okay. I think I'm going to go... Yeah, more tactics. Ah, whatever. Three keys! I'm just going to backtrack.
Okay. Yes. There's the exit to that, which means that our exit out of here should be... There we go! We've managed it! Oh yeah. That might be better than the heavy turret. Might. I mean, this is useless. Uh... One extra in survival, I think, just in case. <laughs> mm, do I want Death Orb and Double Crossbomatic, or Heavy Turrets and Death Orb? Mm, I think we'll stick with the Heavy Turret. We'll try re-rolling it and see if we can get uh, some extra damage out of it. Ah, uh, this works. Okay, hand of the king. Uh, yeah, this has been a fun one. I enjoyed it. Yellow for me. But he's dead. And that's all that matters. <laughs> Indeed, it probably is. Uh, I still had the one... Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and go for it. Let's try boss cell number one and see how horrendous this turns out to be. 